All right, happy Friday, everybody. Let us uh, have a look at what we think happened yesterday on Thursday, the I believe it was the 19th of, uh, of September in the markets. Uh, I think an explanation here, or at least our view, of course, right? I'm sure other people have different points of view, is um, probably going to uh, at least help uh, for some perspective. So let's have a look. Um, we all know what happened, right? Equities went up. Risk assets got bid up, but I think more importantly, it's crucial to understand when did all this start to happen and maybe what were the culprits. First of all, we talk a lot about these algorithms that are rule the world now, right? We, we, or the world, at the markets. And when we look at what happened yesterday, uh, initially on Wednesday, the reaction to the Fed was very clear risk off, at least as far as US equities were concerned. And once we started moving into the overnight session over into Asia, some algorithms, and this was, in our view, clearly, literally 100% algorithmic driven, decided to buy. Our hunch from some of the conversations we've had is that it had a lot to do with um, essentially these algos uh, reading this Fed cut as something that provides more liquidity to the markets, and that's bullish. And ultimately, we all know that lower rates ultimately are bullish for stocks. The question is, does that really have to last here into the election? I have my doubts. So I actually think there's a lot of risk of a lot of this reversing uh, very soon. There is a part here that is very important to understand in our view. And if we just look at the sectors of the S&P 500 yesterday, we will notice if you look at this, uh, this is one day at price action, so yesterday's U.S. Uh, price action, you will see that what led was technology and consumer discretionary stocks. Those were the ones that basically outperformed everything else by a pretty good margin. Industrials also took part at some of that uh, because of Caterpillar, but, um, uh, but, but otherwise it's just, it was a tech day. And so essentially what we saw yesterday was just a rotation, a sector rotation move. In fact, the S&P 500 yesterday, I believe, was up about 1.7%. The equally, uh, yeah, there you go, 1.7%. The equally weighted S&P was up, quote unquote, only, still a good move, 1%. So it can be explained 100% by, or it can be explained clearly uh, by this rotation. What didn't do well yesterday is the things that did well over the past few months. So if you look at the past three months of performance, you can see some of the things that led higher were utilities, real estate, and of course, consumer staples. And again, it's not as black and white, but that's largely, uh, by and large, what happened. So over the past day, so yesterday on Thursday, it was a rotation game. And it's the, the, way we th the reason why we think it was purely algo and risk on driven is because of where, what these things bought. You know, Tesla, NVIDIA had big updates. Um, and so that is very concerning from a near-term perspective because what I'm going to show you on Monday is a seasonality chart. And you guys know I'm on the record for this. I think seasonality is good to know, but it's, a, it's an oversimplistic oversimplification of things, but the, the seasonality in sort of late third quarter heading into fourth quarter is to me very, very good, has a great track record, and so I'll show you guys where we are in that. But just keep in mind that this could reverse. In fact, I think it will reverse. It, I'm going to go on the record for this uh, before long as we head into October, maybe before. Um, and I would not be surprised at all if the S&P 500 had essentially what's called a breakout fakeout move. Again, only in hindsight, we will know in, in, in the sense that this little move here that we saw, uh, this I shouldn't say little, that, that sounds belittling. It still was a good move, right? This move, this breakout move of yesterday, Thursday, the 19th of September may ultimately have been a breakout, fakeout move. We shall see. We'll talk to you more about this on Monday, but we look at a seasonality chart that I think is going to be very interesting for all of you. Until then, have a good weekend, and we'll see you soon.